Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, my name's Tara, in case you guys don't know. If you're not following me on Facebook, uh, you need to. The link is down in the description. But anyway, we have a lot of fun on that page, so go find me there. You can also hit the join button to join the membership for this page. You'll get free PDFs of my patterns. If there's anything that's that's not there, ask me for it. Um, I'm pretty active on social media. So as you know, let me get this in order. We well, started doing numbers. And then Christmas came and all this stuff happened and then I just recently put up my X and my Y because I just got so far away from my tapestry crochet numbers. But it's always good to have, you know, if you're going to do a happy birthday sign, happy fifth birthday or happy, you know, um, second anniversary and you have numbers that you can use. So that's why I decided to do the numbers. So same deal as all my letters. So now the whole entire alphabet is now on my channel in case you're wondering. Same deal. I use a graph can, find my numbers online. This does not print it out with the um, web page that I got it from. They're all free. Um, they're all public. Um, just you have to just Google uh, graph can. And I do all the counting, so you don't have to do all that. So today we're doing seven and eight. So I'm going to use a six millimeter hook because that's what I've been using the whole time. Um, so we start off like we do all the other ones. If you've been following all my other ones, we're going to start off with chaining 12 and doing 11 single crochets. So if you're turning this into a bunting, you're obviously going to want to start with making this bottom part a triangle if you want. So um, I'm just showing you the tapestry cro crochet. I'm not making a bunting with you. So fair warning. Try to keep your stitches loose. I know it feels weird at first, but when you add the white, you're going to thank me. That's my 11 single crochets back up. I'm going to bring it down a little bit closer. Oh, this blue is going to be a problem. So, we're going to just do 11 single crochets with our base color for our second row. So, while you're waiting for me to fix my crap, um, we're not adding color yet. So, your next row is just going to be 11 single crochets. And I will see you on the other side, apparently. Oh. Well, I finally got my big knot untied. That was horrendous. So this next row, we're going to incorporate some color. So make sure you're getting into your very first stitch if you got to pull this back. And you're going to do five single crochets with your base color. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish that with my white. So if you don't care about reading this from front to back, or back to front, then don't have to worry about weaving everything in. But I'm going to weave everything in as I go, which is why I use such a big hook. With white, you're going to do three single crochets, or your B color, so whatever color you're using. It doesn't have to be white. You're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish that 
third one with your blue and with your blue you're going to do three single crochets to the end oh I didn't weave that in I am struggling today it's just not my day to film a video I don't think So that's my third blue. Um, this little this little nubby you can just cut off if you got one. I got one. I don't know where it just went. So chain one, turn your work. You're gonna have to turn your weight with your with everything. So round four. You're going to do three single crochets with your blue. So I'm still weaving in. I'm weaving. I'm going to be weaving the whole time. So on your third stitch, you're going to switch to white. And with white, you're going to do four single crochets. Or with your B color, excuse me. On your fourth stitch, you're going to finish it with your blue, and with blue, you're going to do four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round five, you're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish that with white. So that, that was one stitch into the white from the previous row. With white, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish this second one with my base color and I'm going to do four single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Number row six, round six, you're going to do four single crochets with your base color. Oh my gosh. This is my fourth stitch, the hard way. We're just repeating. You're going to do two single crochets with your B color. So on the second one you're going to switch to blue and you're going to do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. You're going to have these little artifacts on the side. I like mine, but if you don't like them, then after you're done the project, you can go around with your base color and do stitches. Round seven, you're going to do five single crochets with your base color. On your fifth stitch, you're going to finish it with white. And with white, you're going to do one B and finish. So you're basically just going to pull up a loop and finish it with the blue. And then you're going to do five single crochets with blue. Okay. 
I don't use bobbins or anything when I'm just using two colors. But if you um if you're getting tangled, you just need to spin your work around. And I'll show you once I start getting more tangled. Row eight. You're gonna do five single crochets with your base. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With white, I'm going to do two B's. On the second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my blue. And I'm going to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch, chain one. So, as far as untangling, so you got this tangling going on. If you just spin your work while you're holding one of these, I'll show you what I mean if they weren't so stuck. There we go. I had fibers stuck together. What They weren't twisted together. I had fibers stuck together. But anyway, um, yeah, you can untwist your work doing that. It's so quick. Easy peasy. Takes a couple of seconds. Chain one. Turn your work. Round number nine. You're going to do four single crochets with your base. So on your fourth stitch, you're going to finish it with your white and you're going to do two single crochets with your white with B. Finish that second stitch with your base color and do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10, you're going to do six single crochets with your base color. This is my sixth stitch on the white one from the row before. So finish that with your white. You're going to do two single crochets with your white. Finishing that with your blue. And then you're going to do three single crochets with blue. Chain one. Turn your work. Round 11, you're going to do three single crochets with your base color. On your third stitch, you're going to switch to white. You're going to do two B. On your second B, you're going to switch to blue. And you're going to do two blue, two base color. So on your second one, you're going to finish that second stitch with your white. And you're going to do two color Bs. On that second stitch, you're going to go back to your base color. And you're going to do two base color. Chain one, turn your work.
round 12. We're almost done this. So it goes to round 16. Round 12, you're going to do two single crochets with your base color. So in your second stitch, you're going to finish with your color B. Your color B, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish that with blue. With blue, you're going to do two single crochets. Finish that second stitch with your B color. And with B color, you're going to do two single crochets. So finish your second stitch with your base color and with your base color you're going to do two single crochets <laughs> monotonous shade one turn your work round 13 you're going to do two single crochets with your blue, so just following what you got sitting here. So in your second stitch, you're going to go to white, or your base color, B. Or your, your B color, not your base color. <laughs> wow, I'm confusing myself. With your color B, you're going to do six single crochets. So we're doing the top of the seven right now. So on your two, three, four, on your sixth stitch, finish that with your base color and do three single crochets with your base color. Chain one, turn your work. Just about done. So for the next three rows, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch with your base color, so my blue. Um, I'm weaving in the white anyway, all the way across, just so I can just cut it off and I don't have to sew it in. So you should have 11 single crochets for the next three rows. So that's my three rows. So um, I fasten off here because I'm not making this a bunting, but if you are, then you would continue because this would, this would get folded and sewn around a piece of yarn or a dowel or whatever you're hanging it up with, right? And then down here you'd put a triangle on here. Now if I fasten off from here, I can still decide to turn this into a bunting. I just need to reattach after everything. So you kind of just need to stretch out your work. This needs to be blocked, obviously. Now that's your seven. So number eight, I'm going to do with the same colors. You don't have to. You can change your colors if you want. It starts off the same way. They're all the same size. Chain 12, 11 single crochets. So that's my chain 12, 11 single crochets. Round two is the same as the other one. You're going to do 11 single crochets. So 
That's my 11. I've chained one. I've turned. Time to bring in some white. We're going to do three single crochets with our base color. So on our third stitch, we're going to finish it with white, or your color B. With your color B, you're going to do six single crochets. It's a little awkward on the first few rows. So on your sixth stitch, you're going to go back to your blue. And you're going to do the two single crochets that are left. And then you can snip off that one little piece of white that's your tail. So that's just my straggler from reattaching or attaching, bringing it in. Chain one, turn your work. So turn it with your white. Just like we did before. Round four, you're going to do one single crochet and then you're going to change to white. So you're basically going to go in and you're going to pull up a loop. And you're going to finish the stitch with white. With white, you're going to do three B is how you'll see it written. So on your third B, you're going to go back to your base color and you're going to do two single crochets. With your white, you're going to do three Bs. So on your third stitch, go back to your blue, finish the stitch with your blue, and then do two single crochets. Stuck on something. Chain one, turn your work. Round five. You're going to do one single crochet, you're going to pull up a loop, and you're going to go to your white. With You have blue stitch in here. It's so easy to lose your stitches, but you do have a blue stitch in here. So starting in that blue stitch, you're going to do three white, or whatever color you're using. That's my third stitch, so I'm going to go back to my blue. And I'm going to do four single crochets. Oops. Two. Three. This is my fourth single crochet. I'm going to go back to my white. I'm going to do two single crochets with my white. So I, I am pulling too hard. I can tell that I'm doing that. So I'm going to try to loosen up a bit. Um, it does make a big difference. So with my, uh, I got one stitch left. I'm going to fill that with my base color. Chain one and turn my work. So I can see this side coming in because I've pulled too tight somewhere. But you can just stretch your work out and relax your stitches if you're finding that. At the end of the video, I will show you what blocking is. So again, one single crochet. So bring up a loop and finish that stitch with your white. With white, you're going to do two single crochets. So these are going to be a repeat rows because we're doing an eight. So with your base, you're going to do five single crochets. I guess it's just changed a bit. This is my fifth stitch. 
I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. Oh my gosh. To be. I only did four. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. I did four blue. Two, three, four. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to do two single crochets with my white. So on my second one, I'm going to go back to my blue. And with blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So this is the turning over stitch. It's, it can be so difficult sometimes. Pain in the butt, but... Chain one, turn your work. So you can spin your yarn out if you want at this point. Round seven, moving right along here. Here and do one single crochet. So bring up loop, change to your white. With white, you're gonna do two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're gonna go back to blue. You're gonna do four single crochets with blue. back to white. With white you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second stitch you're going to go back to blue and with blue you're going to do two single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round eight, you're going to do two single crochets with your base color. So on your second one, you're going to go to white. And you're going to do three single crochets with white. On your third stitch, you're going to finish that with blue. And with blue, you're going to do two single crochets. On your second one, you're going to finish it with white, and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish the second one with blue, and you're going to do two single crochets. <laughs> easy peasy, monotonous, but easy peasy. Chain one, turn your work. Round nine, you're going to do three single crochets with your blue, with your base color. So on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with white. And then I'm going to do four single crochets with my white. This is my fourth stitch, so I'm going to finish that with blue. And with blue, I'm going to do four single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round ten. Round 10, you're going to do six single crochets with your base color. So 
You're going to finish that sixth stitch with your white and you're going to do two single crochets. Finish that second stitch with your blue and you're going to do three single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. All right, round 11. We're gonna do one single crochet. So I'm gonna pull up. Finish that with your white. With your white, you're gonna do two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish it with blue. With blue, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to finish that with your base color, where you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your blue, and you're going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 12, you're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with white. I'm going to do two single crochets with white. So on my second one, I'm going to finish that with my base. With my base, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my white. Oh, I knew my ball was going to come flying out of there. With my white, I'm going to do two single crochets, finishing that with my blue, and then doing my one single crochet that I have left. Chain one, turn your work. Round 13, we're going to do two single crochets with our base color. So we're going to finish that with our white. With white, we're going to do three single crochets. On our third stitch, we're going to finish that with blue. And with blue, we're going to do six single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. For the next three rows, I want you to just do three base color. I'm going to weave in my white so I can just cut it off at the end. So 11 single crochets across. There we go. So, I know that's a funny looking eight. Um, that's what it looks like in the graph too. Let's see if I can put these side by side. So, it just goes this way. That's what it looks like in the graph as well. That's your eight. I know it's funny looking, but these were actually the best 
letters I could or numbers I could find that were kind of fancy and not just blocky. So I didn't want the blocky. So that's why your eight looks like that. But I like I like it. It's different. So again, you just need to fasten off unless you're turning this into a bunting. So um if you don't know what blocking is, stick around. I will show you in a second. It's very quick and super duper easy. Um, I have blocking pads, so I'm going to show you with those. But if you don't have blocking pads, that's perfectly fine. If you don't need it, you can just get a towel. But you are going to need water. So you can either... Well, I'll just put up on my screen right now what blocking means. And then I'll meet you right back here. So, um, blocking boards are like these foam ones. You, you know those the flooring you can get for kids' rooms. It's exactly like that, but it has lines on it, so you can um, um, pin it straight. Let's think about what I was gonna say. So, all you need to do is soak here. I just have a spray bottle of water. You can run this under a tap. You don't need to use a spray bottle, but if you don't have a tap available to you, I do. I'm in the basement. I could have just used, I mean, I'm sure wherever you are, there's a tap with water. So anyway, soak it. So you can put it in the washing machine. You can run it just under a tap and get it nice and soaking wet. And then you basically put it into the shape that you want it, which is a rectangle, and you pin it to the mat. So using the lines to make sure that you're straight. There's steam blocking and stuff, so if you have a steam iron, I don't think I need to do my sides, but that is a blocking. These are hairpins, or wig pins, sorry. They're called wig pins on Amazon, if you're looking for, or T pins. Wig pins or T pins is what these are called and I love them. I have bought so many pins and they all come in different sizes. These are large but you got this little case. So these are some smaller ones here and then I've got these even smaller ones here. So they come in all kinds of sizes. These ones are really tiny. So um, you get them on Amazon. It's dirt cheap so they're not expensive. And that's what blocking is. And then you just let it dry overnight or whatever. And then when it's dry, you're done. So thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be 9 and 0. I'm not doing an, a 10 because, I mean, you can just put a 1 and a 0 together. So 9 and 0 is going to be the last video of the numbers.